Hey everybody, Slash2x, uh, got another video for y'all. Uh, I am currently sitting here at Shon's Spaceport. I'm uh, over at Shinigami. Uh, I'm in the beta, as you can see, bottom left corner. Uh, currently on build four for that beta. We have a little uh, contest going on in this area. This area is being contested, so there's some back and forth. Now if I go to my power contact, if I want to undermine this location, I need to find private security vessels. They're going to be marked as an enemy. And then I am going to go ahead and undermine them by stealing political prisoners out of their system. So I need to take them away from the ship and then take them back to my contacts in the controlled system. So should be some interesting stuff getting this done. Uh, Looks like I have to get 225 tons of that in order to fully undermine this area. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm definitely going to be giving it a shot. As you can see, I'm in the Imperial Courier. So, we're going to double down on beta for this. So, let's see how it looks. Uh, for those that haven't seen it already, they have added that speeding capability where you can get in trouble inside of the station. Uh, if you clear 100 then you start getting the marker of speeding in the right hand side above your fuel gauge where you'd ordinarily see wanted as well so i'll go ahead and i'll hit that just real quick so you can see it for a second see speeding i dip back under 100 speeding goes away so i usually hit about a 96 or so going out the door it also lets me do a little bit of overshooting undershooting like that anyway so no way i don't have to worry about slamming into anything But yeah, here we are. So, give me a moment here while I go ahead and get out of range. There we are. So that should be getting me out of range far enough. This particular area doesn't have anywhere I can really go besides the nav beacon to try to grab people. So we're going to be heading to the nav beacon. to engage. There we are. So let's head over there. Alright, so we're dropping in on the nav beacon right about now. Um, I have... Oh, there we are. If you look up in the corner there, I'm going to overshoot because I got distracted. Um, I have been just kind of playing around with the general feel of this ship as well as messing around with some of the different things you can do uh, in the power play. And so far, I'm liking the ship quite a bit. Uh, it's literally just a big eagle. Uh, if you take an eagle, flip it upside down, you even get the weapons configuration. Uh, where it's one on each side and then one either above or below. In this case, it's below. So, it's still that little uh, that tri-impact sort of thing going on. I think I'm having some people getting ready to try to interdict me. I may go ahead and slow down and let them do it, just to see what they are. So, where are they at? There's one of them. Yeah, he's definitely trying to interdict me because he keeps looping. Him and... Oh, it's a couple of Cobras. This ought to be interesting. I'll just go ahead and park, see if they can grab me. You gonna grab me or not? I think they're a little tackle confused. If you guys aren't gonna interdict me, then I'll go ahead and just head into the beacon then. <laughs> Come on, make up your mind. You gonna interdict me or not? You're thinking about it. Was I going too slow? Speed up a little? No. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of weirdly looping me. Oh well, I ain't got time for you guys. Alrighty, let's see if we can find some of those uh, private security folks. There's literally contacts everywhere. Jewels, mostly harmless, free. Scan detected. Somebody just scanned me. Special.
doubt highly a Type 7 is going to fall within security. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here's another one. He's also not going to fall within what I'm looking for. Go ahead and get my weapons ready, though. Not for him, just kind of in general. Wild FX Dude. Awesome. Alright, so we got Bub kissing on the initial. Whoa, he's fighting you. Jules. Now, you just scanned me like you were a bounty hunter, then you go open fire up on this random guy. Well, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to aim for his cargo badge. There you go, and there's that weapon configuration I was telling you about. Now, they did add class 2 burst lasers in this. Flight assist off so pivot quicker. Um, and they're pretty awesome. They, they do definitely fill that gap very nicely that we were looking for. So, I'm probably going to be throwing these on my Fertilance once it hits the main game. Just because the beams just yank too much juice. I mean, these yank quite a bit of air. But those are worse by quite a bit. Beams yank a lot of energy for nowhere near as much damage, in my opinion. I've always found that I get more damage from this, from the burst configurations. Probably because of how many individual impacts you get. But who knows? Maybe that's just my personal experience. Maybe somebody else out there has had something different. But me personally, this is what I go with. So, one other thing to note real quick. So, I just got that scanned by this guy. There we are. See how he says I'm a poor excuse for a traitor? Um... I was carrying around literally one piece of cargo. I think I still have it, even. Yep. Well, no, it's limpets. They don't count. But uh, I was carrying around an individual piece of cargo. And they now, whenever they scan you, if you're carrying just a piece of cargo, complain about how you're not worth it. So it used to be that it didn't matter if you're carrying bio waste, some of the cheapest stuff in the game. They just immediately open fire. They're like, oh, you're carrying something. Give it to me. Now they're like, eh. You're not really worth shooting at. <laughs> In my Fertilance, I've actually had enemies say, Oh, my bad. I don't want to mess with you. Once they realize my ship configuration versus theirs. So I thought that was kind of an interesting little twerk as well, where it was uh, that twist of, Hey, I'm going to attack you. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, those, those are some pretty big guns. Um, my bad. Sorry. So, I thought that was an interesting thing that they Stand added. Detected. I hope they add more stuff like that, because that, that definitely adds a little flavor to the game. Makes the NPCs feel a little more real, in my opinion. Right, so, you're the one that scanned me. Oh, but you're part of the local cops. I am still not seeing anyone that would be marked as an enemy for me that I could attempt to get from. So, I think it's actually a possibility that I can't get them at the nav beacon. So, I'm going to go ahead and try something different. I'm going to see if I can grab some people out of uh, crews. So, I'm going to have to go grab some equipment for that, though. So, let's see if that makes a difference. All right. I'm now back out in Super Cruise in the general area. And I'm looking for those contacts. I wonder... If that's what all these Cobras were that keep looping me but won't actually interdict me. I wonder if they're enemies, quote-unquote, but they're not actually programmed to attack me because we're not truly hostile. So let's see. Well, assuming I can loop quick enough to get one. 
one of the problems in this game is it can be difficult to go back and forth with somebody to get a proper interdiction if they're looping at the same rate and speed that you are. Oh, no, oh, there we are. He is going to interdict me. That's fine. I'll go ahead and submit. I'm hoping... Oh, he is an enemy. Perfect. And since he interdicted me, that's technically a crime. Go for that cargo hatch, though. I'm gonna scan you back there, buddy. Might as well make it even. Kumo crew watch. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Which side is your? I've noticed the AI has gotten a lot better about keeping their cargo hatch away from your attempts at attacking them. They definitely get... Oh! You gonna go after me? That's fine. Got a freebie in there before I had to duck him. I know a lot of people have uh, made mention of it. I actually do use lateral thrusters. Uh, it's just I do it in slight adjustments while I'm attacking. The problem is you don't really have much of a point of reference to look at me versus the other people. So, I actually use a lot of lateral thrusters. Sideways, up, down, all, all, all of the different directions. It's still wrong side. I'm actually gonna stop. Oh, there we are. Hey, you're gonna pivot and show me the bottom. I'll freaking shoot at you. No. Other side. Come on. Almost. Gotcha. There we go. Any cargo you have now should leak out. But I don't think you have any. Awesome. Well then. As you can see, he wasn't wanted, he was just an enemy, so opposite faction. Frame shift drive charging. It's very interesting to see that I got neither a bounty from him or for him. So that's definitely been one thing that's uh, been unusual to see in power plays. As you're popping these enemies, you're used to seeing, oh, well, I blew him up, I should get something. But with power play, you a lot of times won't see anything. So, all right, where's my station? I try to kind of keep in the general area of the stations just because that's where most enemies will spawn you can't see like that where do you utopian overseer see also marked as an enemy opposite faction I've seen one other human being the whole time I've been doing this and they were just on their own way they didn't really worry about it. Here we are, security. Uh oh, hang on, hang on. What about you? Private security. These are the ones I'm looking for. Him. 
Why is the tether not kicking in? Oh, hurt to dirt. Might have to pause on the right freaking group. See, and as you can see, that's a fine though. That's not a bounty. That cargo hatch. Fifty some odd percent. You should start leaking. Or not. somebody go to that percent and not start leaking. Alright, 17% cargo hatch. You gotta start leaking now. There we go. Political prisoners. I now no longer care about the other guy. He can go do whatever the hell he feels like. I am going to be using my collector. Programming limpet drone. Off it goes. Please retrieve. Expired. No! Why'd you expire? Oh, what the heck. Cargo scoop deployed. Alright, let's try this again. Programming limited drone. Did the limpet run into it and explode? Huh. Well, so far me and the limpets aren't getting along. Unless my speed matters for them too. So that doesn't make any sense. All right, if he's gonna shoot at me, I'm gonna throw max shields up. I mean, he's got a, a little piddly weapon. I'm not worried about him, but at the same time, wouldn't hurt to keep my shields at a higher volume. All right, so I got those. I should be able to collect these as well. I'm tempted to take one more pot shot at him since now I have a little bit more free space. I think I shall, actually. Just slow enough. Are you trying to ram me? That'd be one way to break my day. Come on. Hold still, you bastard. Yeah, now you gotta pivot so I can get to your belly. Well, fine, I'll laterally thrust around you. Missed. Oh, that cargo hatch. Nope, missed it. Like I said, the AI has gotten a lot better about making sure that their cargo hatch is harder to hit. Gotcha! That may be too much, though. I think it's jammed shut now. Well, that's unfortunate.
Alright. So now, we have a little bit of a dilemma. I have a fine on me. Two fines, actually. And I need to go sneak into a port. So, we'll see how this goes. And I'm also carrying illegal cargo, so double down on my problems. But, this I'm liking, because now I have a reason to go out and do stuff like this. And technically what I'm doing is a variation on piracy, but it's so I can go ahead and get uh, a little bit better with my current faction. So... In a way, the game's kind of encouraging pirate-type behavior to kind of mix it up and make it so that people aren't just always pure, perfectly clean. Like, I never kept a bounty on me ever before this. Now I have a reason to have a bounty on occasion. So, we'll see what happens. Let's get that silent running silent going. Running. As a side note, this ship does not heat up that quick. Compared to some of the others I've flown in. So. The courier is definitely better for smuggling. There we are, and we're in. Oh yeah, and I forgot I have auto dock on this. Again, I like the music. So, we'll go ahead and just let my shields recharge on their own after I land. Oh, I stopped straight above it. Look at that. Nice and gentle. Alright, let's see what we can do with all this. So, first things first. I've heard that they've made changes to the way the bounties work. So, let's see if that's actually true. Can I pay my fine? I can't pay my fine. So that's still true. But I've heard that they changed the timer on it. So let's see how true that is. Yep, see now it's only three minutes and I can pay it off. I can live with that. That makes a lot more sense. You have a little oops. You have to wait a little bit before you're allowed to pay it off. That makes total sense to me. That, that that's That's a much more manageable thing than all the other, oh, you know, seven days because you accidentally bumped into someone. So, I can live with this. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab that. And let's go to my powers contact. Alright, so I'm missing something here. Reduce by liberating the political prisoners. So I already got the, sh I have them. Deliver them to contacts in controlled systems. Oh, so I wonder if it's for systems that they actually own instead of us. Alright, well. Apparently I've made a miscalculation in that aspect. I don't drop them off here. I need to drop them off somewhere where... See... I think I understand why, but it's kind of weird. So, I need to go somewhere else. But, I'm willing to bet I'm not the only person that's a little confused by this. So, here you go. This is me learning as you, as you watch. So, anyone else that's out there and seen this already would be like, Oh, well, yeah, I did the same thing. Or, hopefully you figured it out the first time without having to screw up like I did. With any luck, if you're not in the beta, you'll see mine and be like, now I know what to do because I saw Slash screw it up. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and look and see what else I can do. Can I pay off my fine yet? Need another few more seconds. Alright, well, in the meantime, I've got the perfect thing. I'll be over here at the galaxy map looking at the powers, seeing where I need to go in order to drop this off. So, power play... Where do we have... Is it just any controlled sector? Because if it's any controlled, I'm not that far away from a couple. I think this is controlled. Yeah. Hang on. What's the closest? 
Who controls you? Nobody, because you don't exist. You? No? Also don't exist. Alright. This is the only thing that's been a little hard for this, is trying to figure out who controls what. See, that's Zema Torval. Denton Petraeus. There we are. Alright, so how far are you? 20 light years, give or take. I have to do two jumps to get there. Alright, I can live with this. Alright, and about now my stuff should have cleared out. It says zero. Is that zero isn't done? Apparently not. Also says zero. So apparently they mean one minute plus whatever seconds. So right now I'm on plus seconds. On H jump. So if I do a hyper jump, I can clear it? Yeah, I can't clear it yet. Alright, well. Well, I've got my destination locked, so let's go. Let's see what happens. Putting everything into shields and weapons. Or, excuse me, shields and engine. It's been a long day. Come on. Get out of the area. Anytime you feel like... There we go. All the things they've done in this game, the one that they haven't done yet is make it so you detach a little bit quicker. I'm not, I don't mean fast. Just a little quicker. It's a bit of a lengthy process still. I love the way that you, de you uh, detach at orbitals. That's fast as heck. says. See, this is the problem when you don't quite read the beta notes. I need to read them a little better, apparently. Alright, so we've done our hyper jump. Let's see what my find says now. Oh, it just straight disappeared. Well then. That's even better. So note to self, all I have to do is leave the area after I grab my stuff. This is actually going to be a lot easier to work with. Um, as a matter of fact, where I'm currently at... No, 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 I didn't want to do that. I wanted this one. Who is working this area? Torval. So, does that mean I could destabilize this area as well, since it's even closer still than where I was? Because if so, that'd definitely make things interesting. Wow. Um, that station's a bit of a clip out, though. That's only 600. That's, that's not that far. I may have to try that out in a bit. In the meantime, I am currently going to head to where I know I can drop this stuff off at. Because we own it. We're controlling it. So I'm assuming that that's where I can take it. Here's hoping, right? Oh, a diamond bag. I caught it too late. that <laughs> well that also means I might be able to uh, see that same ship on the way back well not that same one but one they have to scale there because if so I would totally pick one up just to see it uh, this video is all about the courier though you're, you're not going to see any other ship in here but the courier um, I will be looking at other the other ship at a later time though so don't worry about that Oh, hey, too close to the sun. 
Way too close to the sun. Gonna burn my freaking nuts. Get away. That's gonna be close. See? Don't look at your menus while you're next to the sun. We have his regular stations here. Oh, don't hold on. I could always go to web. Eh. We're, we're gonna see what happens when I get in this area. I want to see if they tell me this is illegal cargo and attempt to attack me. So, I may not even drop off all these prisoners. Actually, what does it say about the cargo now? Still says stolen. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Well, last pass power play, huh? Or the power play week. So basically, you have a week to drop these little things off. That's funny. See, now here's my question Do they mark where I took them from? Or do they mark where they're going to? Again, like like many people out there, I'm still a little bit on the confused side as to how power play is going, what exactly they're doing with what. So we're gonna do a little trial and error here and see what happens. Come on, nice and slow loop. I've almost dipped all of my speed out, so I should be able to head at it now. Yep, there we go. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get in here. See, it says I have illicit cargo now. Not illegal cargo, illicit. As in, if I shouldn't really have it, but I do. I'm really tempted to let this stay. You know what, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let, if there's any cops out here, just let them scan me, see what they do. So, Don't I'll go ahead and request. I know the autodoc's probably smart enough to figure out which way I need to go. I still go to the right side myself. Alright, so let's see what she does. Oh, that just freaking figures. The second I'm like, hey, let's try this out. Let's see what happens. Nobody scans me, and the autodoc just takes me in. <laughs> Landing gear deployed. Successful. Engines disengaged. Alright. Now we're in one of Petraeus' systems. I still got nothing to do with these things. What the heck? I know I'm in one of their systems. Do I have to go to one that's not just exploited, but actually controlled? Because that's starting to get a little... Uh, oh, I've got random data to sell. Um, that's starting to get a little screwy at this point. Because now we've gone from nearby to further and further away. Side note, they have reworked a lot of these missions, so that's kind of cool. Uh... Let's see if there's like a mission for it. No, it's green. 
controlling the future by learning from the past. No ancient artifacts. A little dirty work. That's not what we're looking for. Couriers is just exploration crap. I'm getting ancient artifacts again. Yeah, this is none of this is going to work for me. So, I have a power contact here. It has to be a controlled systems or the headquarters. All right. So exploited doesn't work. So another good thing to know. All right. Well, let's go ahead and I'll try to find one. All right, folks. So I figured out what I was doing wrong. Um, there are layers and levels to this. So if you look over here, you can see the loss making, low profit, high profit. But these are all control systems. The exploited ones might earn money, but they're not quite the same. They're not under that full control. So see these dots here? These are ones that are actually being controlled. I think I saw, you know, there's a green one up here where it's that high profit control. So I actually need to go here in order to get this. So this is getting to be less and less of something that is going to be a, a quicker, easier mission to do. Because as you can see, there's not a whole lot of controlled anything nearby here. Um, this one's being fortified. Wow, they, there's a lot of people fortifying that one. Um, that's only... How far away are you from me? Oh, no, that's distance from HQ. I don't give a crap about HQ. I want to know how far it is from me. 36 light years. So here's the one I was just looking at. How far are you? 11. All right. I can make that in a jump, so I'll go ahead and do that, too. It's still a little further out than what I was originally anticipating, but manageable. All right, so let's head out there now. And we're definitely going to give you guys the fast-forward version of this this time. All righty, so we're now heading in. Let's see what happens. I wonder if I'll get scanned on the way in or not. Docking request granted. Yeah, it's about straight in. Come on, somebody scan me. I want to see what happens. Do it. Freaking lazy cops, scan me. They're not gonna. I'm just gonna waltz right in the front freaking door. Literally waltz. Who damn you? Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Alrighty, we are definitively in a controlled system now, so this should work. No more of this. I don't know what's going on. Crap. Ha ha! Nice. So it is. It does mark for the area. Ooh. So I have multiple options I can do. So I can also bring combat bonds from areas that we're actually trying to take control via conquest. Okay. So let's see what happens when I deliver these political prisoners. I get two merits. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So does that show now for me? Now, I've already talked with a couple of friends. We're probably going to do this, like, in mass, as in have one person with, like, a Type 7 or something similar in the area and just scooping up everything that we pop out of people. Uh, that way they get to do all the collection and we'll only have all the bounties sitting on one person. And as you saw, I don't kill them because there's no point. I'm just here to get your stuff and go. So let's see what this did on the map. So, Shinigami should be, that might actually be, yeah, there it is. Go to the 
power play version of it. See, it doesn't show a percentage, though. Even though I actually did do something to help undermine it. Okay. So I need to move more because they've had a 10 for their fortifying. I haven't undermined enough. I need to move a larger volume. To be honest, I was already thinking about this anyway. Um, I'm probably going to have to end up using... Yeah, go ahead and plot a course. Stop. Plot a course here. One, two, three jumps. Yeah, one, two, three. Um, I'm going to come back to this. So you guys are going to see more of this. This is going to be a separate one. The primary goal of this, I want to get you a little bit of a view for the the Imperial Courier. We did a little combat in it. Nothing crazy. Uh, as you saw, there, there was a little bit of uh, movement on that. Got a chance to do a little bit of fun stuff in it. I'm going to do a separate video with my Fertilance because I can haul more cargo in that. Uh, it's got bigger storage. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. If I can fit bigger storage in this, I might do that too. Uh, I am going to have to look for an area that will sell me better equipment, obviously, though. There's some screwy stuff going on with the lighting. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching again this time. Uh, I'm going to be heading out and seeing what I can do to keep undermining that area and see if we can get uh, my faction spread out a little further. So, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Free, feel, uh, feel free to hit like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, go ahead and get to see more of the power play as it goes through the beta. Uh, I'll have a couple more days that we'll be able to get some more in here. Bye.